Hi there, you're watching Swastik videos and in this episode, I'm quickly going to compare between the two virtual reality boxes present with me. First, we I've got with me is VR box. Second with me is VR ShineCon virtual reality glasses. And this is a budget segment oriented device. It comes for a price tag of rupees 1000. Uh, and this one comes for 4000 Indian rupees. And this is a branded one. and the padding here uh, is a uh, very nice and comfortable as compared to the padding which is given here which is not as comfortable on your head as the as compared to wear shine con the padding given here is also uh, not as much of good quality as given in wear shine con which the strap is uh, very uh, is made up of very good quality uh, uh, fabric as you can see the lenses on both of them are quite similar and to control lenses in VR ShineCon it has given a very good controls you can see to move to move left or to move right to move the lenses towards you or away away from you so that you can focus uh, your what uh, uh, your uh, according to you you can focus according to your eye in this the lenses do not move up and down uh, your phone move according to the size here in this virtual reality headset, uh, you get these kind of control. Here you can uh, do like this so that your lenses move left and right. And here the phone does not move up and uh, towards you or away from you. Here the lenses move towards and away from you, which is quite a bit strange. Uh, sometimes you ca it can even touch your eye. I have used both of them. It is quite it is quite comfortable to use in this kind of uh, ShineCon VR headset as compared to VR boxes. Let me show you how to put your phone inside. This is how this is how it comes out, and you can e simply insert your phone according to like this, and you can put your phone inside, and this is how it you can put your phone inside up to six inches it ex it ex accept accepts up to six inches whereas in case of shine con sorry for this delay whereas in shine con you get good quality of uh, this front panel you just need to and here you get to see and also you can remove this front panel so that if you even want to uh, have good music sur surround so uh, mu uh, the sound comes out from here or even if you want to use your camera lenses then you can use it from here this is uh, attachable with a magnet and this too your phone to uh, the front panel attached to this main body with a magnet so it is quite easy to use in this kind of weird virtual headset so which one you should pick if you are looking for a budget friendly budget oriented device you should pick up this one if you are if you are someone who plans to buy and invest money on a better device you should you can go with this vr shinecon headset this was this is what uh, this was my quick comparison between both of the, these devices stay subscribed to my channel for more such videos this is swastik signing off thanks for watching